Inside of Landsberg Prison, the 63-year-old Bruton, former commandant of a concentration camp, should have made his way up to a large gallows that was found inside of the courtyard. This man should have seen the gallows and should have been led up there. However, he would escape justice. The prison, Landsberg, was controlled by the American army and he would have been helped up the gallows by a number of US military policemen. But Herman Pister narrowly avoided execution. Herman Pister was the commandant of Buchenwald concentration camp for over three years and he oversaw the brutality and evil that occurred within the barbed wire fences. Buchenwald was a site where dozens of thousands of people succumbed to their horrific ordeals and the violence of the SS guards that was inflicted upon them every single day. Herman Pista was the man responsible for the camp and for his guard staff, and he would encourage the men and women to treat prisoners terribly. But at the end of the Second World War, he should have met his match in the form of an American executioner. Join us today as we look at the execution which was missing of the Commandant of Buchenwald, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hermann Pistar was born on the 21st of February 1885 inside of Lübeck, and it's assumed he had a rather normal upbringing, but then as the First World War waged on across Europe, he would join the German Imperial Navy in 1916. He served with the Navy until the end of the war, and following the conflict he then worked as an apprentice mechanic, and worked then selling cars. But like many people did across Germany, during the 1920s and 1930s, the appeal of the Nazis and the politics of Hitler was too much to resist. The Nazis promised to restore the pride in Germany following the loss of the war. They also promised to fix many of the economic problems and political instability inside of the nation. Hermann Pista joined the Nazi party and then subsequently the paramilitary wing, the SS. He had a rather different role to many other SS members early on and he was part of the SS Motor Echelon in 1932 and he continued to be part of the motor regiments and would be a driver for many high-ranking Nazi officials. In 1937 he was part of the motor pool and the drivers who ferried the head of the SS, Heinrich Himmler, around to different functions and events. With this he would be known to Himmler and he then served in a number of different roles. At some point he transitioned to go and work inside of a concentration camp and in 1939 he was given command of the Hinsert concentration camp. It was a sharp change for a man who had previously been a driver for many SS members. At Hinsert, he served as a commandant for a number of years, and this was a place where around 14,000 political prisoners were held and imprisoned within the fences. The prisoners were kept in a rather small area, and around the camp was a three metre tall high barbed wire fence, and there were a number of watchtowers with SS guards that patrolled. The prisoners of Hinsert were kept in four barracks, and there were 26 bunk beds and over 200 prisoners which were kept in this small place. Hermann Pista served as a commandant here from the 9th of October 1939 until December 1941. Hinsert was intended to be a police detention and re-education centre for political prisoners, and whilst here the inmates were forced to do hard labour. Also here prisoners were re-Germanised, and it would be overseen by the inspector of the concentration camps. As the Second World War continued, Many inmates were sent to the camp from different occupied countries and lands, and Pista oversaw a brief expansion of the site. The inmates were kept in very harsh conditions, and torture and execution took place to keep the inmates in a constant state of terror and fear. There were a series of executions in which inmates were injected with lethal substances in 1941, and further slaughter would occur there. Hermann Pista, though, had ruled by fear, and this was admired by Heinrich Himmler, and on the 1st of January 1942, he got a promotion to serve as the Commandant of Buchenwald, a huge concentration camp, after Karl Otto Koch, the former Commandant, was sacked. He would later be executed inside of his own camp, but Buchenwald was on a colossal scale compared to Hinsert. Throughout the Second World War and before, 280,000 prisoners passed through Buchenwald, and prisoners came from all over occupied Europe and the Soviet Union. There was much terror carried out in the camp, and there were executions performed inside of execution chambers, known as neck shooting facilities, as well as the gallows inside of the roll call yards. There was a severe lack of food, and the primary cause of death at the camp, as well as the brutality of the guards, was the suffering conditions that the inmates were held in. Diseases such as typhus plagued the site, 
and there was also human experimentation carried out. It's estimated that at least 50,000 people died at Buchenwald, and ultimately Hermann Pister was the man who was in charge of the camp, and thus responsible for the slaughter and the bloodshed. Their evil guards, such as Walter Gerhard Martin Sommer, who worked at Buchenwald, and he was employed by Pistar, and Sommer was known as a hangman, and he even crucified two priests upside down, inside of a nearby forest. Executions were a daily occurrence, and thousands of Soviet prisoners of war were brought to Buchenwald, when they were immediately executed and were shot. During Pistar's work as a commandant, the conditions of Buchenwald went from being very poor to downright horrific and disgraceful, as inmates were starved and were given less food and access to basic facilities. As the Second World War turned against the Germans, Hermann Pista began to plan for large evacuations of prisoners from the camps known as the Death Marches. He ordered the first group of inmates to leave on the 7th of April 1945 to be sent to Dachau. These inmates were to be marched to the railroad station, then placed in open boxcars, and this train became known as the Death Train. When this first group arrived at Dachau 20 days later, many on the train had died from starvation, disease and suffering. The death marches were horrific, and if a prisoner could not keep up on the march, then they would be shot, and at times often just dumped at the side of the road. It's estimated that 13,500 people died during the evacuations of the camp that Hermann Pista had planned. But at the end of the Second World War, many high-ranking members of the SS had been advised by Heinrich Himmler to take on false papers and no identities. For example, Rudolf Hess, the former commandant of Auschwitz, tried to escape capture, working as a gardener under the false name Franz Lang. But Hermann Pista was quickly arrested by American forces in 1945, and he would then be brought to trial. Pista was brought to the main Buchenwald trial, which took place inside of Dachau. He was one of 30 other defendants who were charged with war crimes, and crimes against humanity, and specifically violating the Hague Convention and the Geneva Convention of how prisoners of war should be treated. The courtroom heard of the brutality of Hermann Pista's work, and how he had run a camp which was incredibly sadistic, and where death lurked around every corner. Buchenwald became a camp, which the sound of the name would strike fear into the hearts of many. Witnesses and former inmates told of their ordeals inside of Buchenwald, and at the end of the trial, Hermann Pista was sentenced to death and was ordered to be executed by hanging. He was following the trial transferred across to Landsberg Prison, a US military controlled prison, in which around 300 Nazi war criminals would be executed within the walls. The favoured execution method of Landsberg was hanging on a gallows, which could be found inside of the prison courtyard. Hermann Pista was on death row for every year, and he would wake up every morning not knowing if the day would be his last, and he lived with this fear but he would never make his way to the gallows and was probably months off his date with the executioner. On the 28th of September 1948, American guards rushed into his prison cell and they found Herman Pistar unconscious inside of his small room. He had an acute heart attack and despite several attempts to recover him, he could not be awoken and had died. With this, Herman Pistar escaped the hangman's gallows as he had been sentenced to death and some of the US guards felt cheated by the ill fate that had struck their prisoner. Pista was 63 years old when he died, and he would escape the hangman, but many of the former guard staff who worked at Buchenwald would not be so lucky. Following his death, the death sentence and execution for Ham and Pista would of course never take place, and he is remembered today as a commandant of Buchenwald who managed to escape the executioner. He was a brutal man who should have paid for his crimes, as he reigned over a horrific site and camp which was truly barbaric and savage. Buchenwald became one of the most terrible camps of the Second World War, and it was mostly for the work of Hermann Pistar and the guards he employed. He had a disregard for the lives of the inmates, and tortured and executed whenever he wished. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.